Greetings all, Vanna here for Sagittarius' weekend message. Sagittarius, I apologize for my absence in the last couple of weeks. The video that I posted before Aries of today's readings will explain what's been happening if you've been curious. Other than that, I am here for you. And you have quite the interesting message that's already come out. The first card is the Four of Pentacles. Can sometimes be holding on to everything that you have out of a fear of what? What I get more with this though is needing and wanting to find security because that has been something that's been very difficult, iffy, or completely absent in your life. Security, a stable home, financial income, knowing that your electricity is going to be there. I know that's a heavy topic, but I have to say it as it is coming out. And darling, I have been through that same stress of balancing paying my water bill and being able to help buy the groceries and making sure my car still has insurance so my dad can safely drive it to work. There is a lot going on. I don't, I'm, I don't know why I almost said Aquarius, but Sagittarius, probably the similar sounding ends, is quite the ambitious person. The King of Wands and the Five of Wands. You have an incredible dream. And it will carry you so, fa so far beyond your dream of stability. You will have not just stability and security, but a thriving life. And it... I'm, I'm looking at the circle that's going around these... Um, these wands. The wands is the suit of fire, ambition, passion, drive, motivation. It is the last suit for yourself, Sagittarius. Multiple streams of incomes, multiple different ways, like multiple different skills that you have. You have a certain set of skills that makes life weird for most people. And you're like, why am I going to use all of these? Individually and collectively, each one of those wands is another idea, dream, ambition of yours that deserves to have time. If you are an artist with a weird quirky style, get a red bubble or a tea public. If you're a writer, there are all the time writing competitions that will get you noticed by publishers that will get you out there. You just have to start with little things here and there. And the most difficult about this, speaking from my own experience, is balancing because you have the drive and motivation to write the book but now you have the inspiration to draw that picture but at the same time you have to go out and get some air and take a break for yourself taking care of yourself is the most important thing right now because there is no point in working on a dream if you cannot live your life to enjoy it and similarly there is no life to live if you will constantly have to work you have the nine of wands in reverse and the snake there, while I normally love snakes, I adore them, I plan to have many as my friends and pets one day. I feel this is a narcissistic ego or an energetic vampire trying to not just steal anything good that you could be creating, but also make you feel like you don't deserve it or like you need them and they will just come in and disrupt and corrupt everything that you were trying to create beautifully and purely. <clears throat> Do not let this fear isolate you from accepting help. Use discernment. Do meditations. Make Think about the decisions. Read the fine prints before you agree to working with anyone else. Especially if this is a dream that you have been working on for a very long time. It would be horribly discouraging to to lose that fire to lose that strive because someone took advantage of you yeah there there is a point to working with people the three of pentacles this is always three people working to build a church the art the architect the mason and the like the financial provider so you have the person that designs it, the person that builds it, and the person that pays for it. And these three people have to work together and agree. And that could be very difficult with these six of wands. It could cause division, fighting, and a lot of need to control. 
Seven of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. And you need to know when to walk away from a situation, even if it looks like something that could fulfill you. Even if it looks like something that you may want, you know that sometimes you have to walk away from a, a, a situation. If something looks too good to be true, it probably is. Look into it more. Rejection is divine protection, and sometimes spirit shows you something and gets puts you into a situation for you to realize you don't want to be there. Your dreams need a practical plan, and the most practical plans are able to adjust and redirect their course before the completion because you are not completed you are good enough to go through this you are worthy of understanding yourself you're worthy of understanding the beautiful gifts that make you who you are <laughs> yeah. nothing will come from this situation and what I'm feeling that is like the stillness, the stagnancy of just like, I'm not doing this yet. It's the time isn't right. The time will never be just right, my love. The baby steps that you have been taking are leading you. And you have to follow through with that energy. Otherwise, everything that you're working for will just fall through. And you're going to end up in the same place that you have always been. And I know that is a painful thing to hear because I feel my own third eye pinging. Like that's going to annoy some people and it absolutely will. But my love, you manifest and create your life with every single word you say, every thought that you have. And the hardest thing in manifesting is making it conscious to state, I am worthy of love. I am successful. I am deserving of my greatest and highest happiness. Stating your dreams as if you already have them, putting yourself in that energy, in that mindset, it's hard. Especially because so much of our society has always taught us to look at the negative. Fight or flight has told us to pay attention to what makes us afraid, what could hurt us. And society says, keep looking at it. Keep looking at it because it keeps you afraid. It keeps you in a low vibrational place where you're going to be reliant upon someone else for the things that you need. Like support, love, consideration, empathy. <clears throat> Understanding. Your commitment is being tested. How much... Do you want this dream? Or is it too hard and are you going to go back to a normal job? There's a new romantic cycle. Begins at the bottom of the deck. And I feel like that may be for some, but not for others. And I say that because... There is still healing that needs to be done before some of us are ready to love someone else. And I'm saying that as someone who has to do healing before she is ready to love someone else. Because the hurt that we carry from trauma, from betrayal, can sour the future that we are trying to build. And when we involve another person, everything gets so much more complicated. Everything gets so much more drastic and buried and... You just don't know what's going to happen and then more people get involved. And that's why like, I felt a lot of anxiety with that Three of Pentacles right there. Just like you don't want to work with people because that's difficult. Because there's conflicting opinions. There's butting of heads. There's like, oh, this person's trying to take control. But like that, that person doesn't like that. And it's just... Those reactions come from trauma places. Those needs to be the one in charge. The one on top. The one running everything comes from trauma and hurt that we have to heal and release it comes to the surface not to remind us that we're worthless but to be acknowledged and released as i will it so mote it be <clears throat> sagittarius you are deserving of this new beginning and this happiness and be aware that not everyone in your present life will come along with you and that's perfectly normal because you are shifting and going in one way and they have a completely different life mission. If you're meant to cross paths, you will at the right times. Never doubt that love. You will never be alone and you never have been. Have a beautiful day.